the world's most famous and photographed face. Landmarks have a familiarity that's ambiguous. Manhattan has the world's most famous skyline. It seems you know it before you actually arrive for the first time. The fact that New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport is the world's busiest just seems to be another transatlantic statistic. Perhaps the flawless way everything is handled, Boeings are landing every few minutes all the year round, is just another transatlantic superlative. The ease and familiarity leads you to believe you too can come to terms with the giant city of the Empire State. But once on the ground, in its midst, the first timer is in for shocks. The Empire State Building does tower endlessly, and you really learn what rubbernecking means. Our fisheye lens hardly distorts the towering reality of the great New York landmarks. The Pan Am Building dwarfs Grand Central Station. The Chrysler Building is a gleaming finger in the sky. Radio City really seems like a city. New Yorkers take it for granted and barely bother to glance up. After the bafflement of first impressions, it comes as yet another surprise to learn that New York is not an endless pile of concrete. The Lincoln Center is a peaceful palazzo. The Guggenheim Museum is round, and inside, people actually walk up to the top. So free, and it is quite free, to walk round a guided tour of the Ford Foundation, a building that's a garden within glass. Thankfully, things return to a proper perspective, even the most classic Brooklyn Bridge view. The Circle Line River trip, the best way to see right round Manhattan Island, consolidates this new look New York. The second time you see the Empire State, it's more friendly than alarming. The skyline begins to shrink, almost. The UN building, however familiar, is best seen from the waterfront. As New York City becomes more familiar, its contrasts become apparent. Washington Square proves Manhattan can be cozy. Pavement painters, as at home as in Paris, London, or Amsterdam. New York is a place where people like to be out in the open air. There are places where the celebrated hurry and rush belong to another world. Yet this is a stone's throw from Wall Street. Many of New York's most consuming pleasures are quite free. Everyone loves a parade, and there's always something on at the Rockefeller Center. But before the gay open air city life carries you away, a last look up the center's tower block revives those rubbernecking impressions. From the top, more quieter pleasures become apparent. Central Park means as much to New Yorkers as it does to visitors. New Yorkers have always jealously enjoyed the pleasures of the park. A buggy ride is an old favorite, but bicycling is the latest craze. And you can go horse riding in the open air of New York. The name's the same, but this is New York State. A couple of hours up the thruway and you're among the Adirondack Mountains, the country heart of New York, the Empire State, which more and more city dwellers turn to for a feel of the Wild West, the Far North, and the sporting life. American people are expert in tracing their origins, mainly because they keep them alive. The Western Idyll is a living memory. Tucked away among the Five Lakes region of Old Forge is a replica of Dawson City, the Yukon Gold Rush town, where anybody who cares to indulge in nostalgia can say howdy, not just to a cardboard cowboy, but to a real live Indian chief, whose name is Mr. Dennis.
way out west in old New York. Beechnut remembers it all. He was there, and still is. His real prospecting days are over. Today's placid ruminations are more to his taste. But there's a handy reminder of those who got too eager in their search for gold. The Western ideal won't die as long as there's a great outdoors for Americans and anyone to rediscover. Most people have barbecues in their own backyards. But they're taking part in the nation's living heritage when it's on the banks of a lake at a place called Hollywood Hills. Just up the road from Manhattan, New York can be all things to all holidaymakers. Discovering America is more than nostalgic reverie. Every year, thousands of young people with their eyes on the future, honeymoon couples from all over the nation and the world, take part in a pilgrimage to a place that's also very much New York, Niagara Falls. Every bit as awe-inspiring as Manhattan's skyline and every bit a part of New York. Boulders below the American Falls are testament to the power of millions of tons of falling water. The most memorable view of the American and Horseshoe Falls is by helicopter from Goat Island. You can take off from here and fly into a rainbow. An air ride over the Horseshoe Falls is too staggering to be called a joyride, such as you take over the Palisades Fun Fair. This is Manhattan's own amusement park, across the river in New Jersey. New York's night lights spell out all kinds of messages of what's new. Times Square is unique and ever-changing. An apt reminder to anyone who thinks that it's quite easy to take New York for granted. Maybe the rubberneck was right. To the sightseer, the best things in life are always free.